I have something that will absolutely blow your head. Today we will be talking about Gemini. Now what is Gemini? Gemini is Google's newest project in the field of large-scale language processing, and it is poised to completely revolutionize the industry. It is seriously next-level stuff, rivaling ChatGPT and Mighty GPT-4 in terms of understanding and generating natural language. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one, so make sure you watch the entire video. Now, what is Gemini all about? Well, it is Google's latest project in the field of large-scale generalized multimodal intelligence network as its official name, and it is an extremely strong AI system that can handle many different sorts of data and tasks simultaneously. We're talking about text, photographs, audio, video, even 3D models and graphs, as well as activities like summarizing, translating, captioning, doing emotion analysis, and other things. But here's the thing. Gemini uses a brand new architecture that combines two key components, a multimodal encoder and a multimodal decoder. The encoder's role is to translate various types of data into a common language that the decoder can understand. Gemini isn't just one single model, it's an entire network work of models all cooperating to deliver the best results possible. Then the decoder takes over, producing outputs in various modalities based on the encoded inputs and the task at hand. For example, if the task is to create a caption for an image, the encoder would turn the image into a vector that captured all of its features and meaning, and the decoder would then produce text that describes the image. First off, Gemini is just more adaptable, it can handle any type of data and work without the need for specialized models, which distinguishes it from other large language models like GPT-4 and makes it unique. In comparison to other models that are trained on specific domains or tasks, Gemini can tackle new and unseen scenarios much more efficiently because it can learn from any domain and data set without being constrained by predefined categories or labels. There's also the fact that Gemini is just more efficient in general because it uses less computational resources and memory than other models that must deal with multiple modalities separately and also uses a disjoint architecture. If we talk about size and complexity, one of the most common things people look at to measure a large language model is its parameter count. Basically, parameters are numerical variables that serve as the learned knowledge of the model, enabling it to make predictions and generate text based on the input. If we talk about size and complexity, one of the most common things people look at to measure a large language model is its parameter count. GPT-4 has 1 trillion parameters, which is nearly 6 times larger than GPT-3.5 feet s 175 billion parameters and requires more memory to train and use. This makes GPT-4 one of the largest language models yet created for Gemini. Google claims that it is available in four sizes, Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn. They haven't specified the precise number of parameters for each size, but based on several cues, we can assume that Unicorn is the largest and has the most parameters, perhaps slightly fewer than GPT-4. Gemini is more interactive and creative than other programs. It can produce outputs in a variety of formats based on the user's preferences, and it can even produce novel and varied outputs that aren't constrained by pre-existing information or templates. For instance, Gemini can produce original images or videos based on text descriptions or sketches, as well as stories or poems based on images or audio clips. Imagine you have a piece of information that is made up of various forms of data, such as text and audio, and that you want to summarize it in a way that uses all of those distinct pieces of data. For instance, you could wish to provide a brief text or audio summary of a podcast episode or news story. Gemini can accomplish all of that by combining its abilities in both textual and auditory comprehension. An additional factor is multimodal translation. This is the case when you have to translate a piece of information that contains both text and video. By combining its abilities in textual and visual translation, Gemini can create subtitles for a video lecture or a movie trailer in another language. There is also multimodal generation, which is used when you need to create a piece of information in more than one format that incorporates a variety of data formats, including text and photos. For instance, you might want to create an image based on a text description or a sketch, or you might want to create a text based on an image or a video clip. Gemini can accomplish this by combining its abilities in textual and visual generation, but multimodal reasoning, basically, the ability to combine data from various tasks and data types to form assumptions, is what I find to be the most impressive Gemini capability. What does this mean for the future of AI? Well, it seems pretty clear to me that Google is likely going to give GPT-4 and perhaps even GPT-5 a real challenge in the coming years with this multimodal approach. Honestly, I'm seriously blown away by that. These are just a few things Gemini can do. That's it for today, please share and subscribe to the channel for more related videos.